This is, uh, I get this online, pretty cheap stuff. Beef gelatin powder, non-GMO, grass-fed, pasture-raised, uh, beef flavor. Uh, it comes with a little scoop. Uh, ooh, I got one in here. Yeah, it comes with a scoop like this. Uh, I do six to eight scoops. It says to do like four, but nah, it gets all nasty in there in the cleft, so use six to eight seven if you want just to make it like where it's you know kind of bouncy where it's uh it doesn't dissolve that easy this is what i do i use a uh, bottle of water i use the uh, where is that wrong side where are the cups at oh yeah that was the cups yeah i use like half a cup to three quarter cups of water cold water and i mix it in a bowl i put the water in the bowl then I add the six to eight cups of this and with a fork, I just, you know, get it all dissolved. And it's gonna start getting kind of clumpy, so try to dissolve all you can. Then I put the canned dog food, four health. Well, you, know, you can use puppy food or whatever. You can even use the dry food too, stick it in the blender and break it up first and then put it in there. But I prefer to get it, you know, like four health has limited ingredients. It's more holistic. And then I use a little saucepan Here's the bowl that you use one of these bowls. Then I use this little saucepan here and I put three quarters cup of water in that one and I heat it up. Don't boil it, just get it to where it's hot. Okay, so when you mix all that up, the three quarters cup of water with your dog food and the six to eight scoops of the gelatin, mix it up real good, mash, and then you add that three quarters cup of the hot water slowly stir it stir it stir it stir it stir it and it's going to get all mixed up real good it's going to become like a like a thick gravy then you pour it into any containers tupperware or whatever uh where's my black ones at whoops i use these i use these you know this is perfect here it fills up the two little ones the two little spaces i do one real thin so it'll be done real fast and they'll fill this up and I'll fill this area up. And that was that that was that perfectly fills up. And uh like in about three or four hours, the thinnest one you do, like a thin layer, that'd be ready for her for her to eat. You just chop it up into little squares where she swallows them. They're bigger than the cleft. As she grows, you make them bigger and they swallow them.